on Twitter and Irisalani Lara says that he hopes uh, he tweets Miguel Cotto directly and says that hopefully Cotto chooses him to be his next opponent and that Tim Bradley's a good fighter but he would beat him with one hand and, I, and he actually directly tweeted that to both of those fighters okay um part of the reason why I like Irisalani Lara I mean the guy is arrogant he thinks he could beat anybody on the planet that's just how he is. I mean, he's a guy from 154 that called out Golovkin, all right? And Golovkin and his team turned down that 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 fight option. Now, uh, the other two options that are available is Bam Bam Rios and Tim Bradley, okay? Uh, Miguel Cotto... Recently, you know, I saw the article on Boxing Scene and 78 Sports TV did a video about this already. The article was, uh, the article was a couple of articles on Miguel Cotto saying that he's not going to be forced to fight anyone. You know, he fights whoever he wants to fight. OK, this was di um, this is based on him being a WBC lineal middleweight champion. Um, he has a voluntary, so he's not going to get stripped of the title. OK, he's not going to get stripped of WBC. Regardless if they dislike Miguel Cotto's comments, they're not going to strip him of his title. That's not going to happen because he has a voluntary, okay? Um, the, pro the, the, the problem I have with that is that it's almost been a year. Cotto hasn't had any injuries or anything. And, you know, I think it's it's been a, for him to go this long without taking a fight. Even though he has that voluntary, that should have been something with that contract that stated that he has to have a fight, a voluntary within a certain amount of time. Because he's going to go a whole year since he won his title, fight in June, and if he fights one of these three guys, you know, he had a whole year. Like, there's a lot of guys that get stripped of their titles immediately. You know, they these boxing organizations... They pick and choose when they want to jump in and step in and strip guys or warn them. You know, once they heard Peter Quillen trying to get the opportunity, you know, trying to get the fight with Andy Lee, they jumped in and made Andy Lee fight, you know, um, what's this guy's name? Saunders. But then once Saunders agreed to step aside, you know, and take the next fight after the, you know, whoever wins the Peter Quillen fight. It was full, it was cool, but it's, it's it's amazing to me how these organizations are quick to step in with certain fighters and not with other fighters. You know, they're really picky when it comes to that. Now, let's talk about this. These three options. It's crazy that Tim Bradley. Isn't it crazy that Tim Bradley has the opportunity to be the lineal middleweight champion or Bam Bam Rios? Like, what has Rios done at welterweight for him to even he hasn't done anything at welterweight. So to skip over welterweight, junior middleweight, and then go right to middleweight, possibly getting, possibly winning a, a fight with Cotto. Just him getting that opportunity sounds crazy. You know, he had a good fight with Mike Alvarado. He looked very impressive in that fight. But he should not be getting this opportunity. Okay, Tim Bradley, it's another one. He hasn't done anything. At any division over welterweight, he should not be getting the opportunity. Okay, Lara, he hasn't done anything at middleweight, but and and this is the way I look at it. I think if anybody's gonna get like as far as the fights are concerned, I think the Bradley fight will probably be the most entertaining. Um, but I would take the Lara fight over Bradley because. Lara is more realistic. If he has the middleweight title, I could see him fighting real middleweights, unlike what Cotto is doing right now. Okay, so if Cole, if Lara were to win this fight, I would see him fighting Golovkin. Golovkin would get his shot because he's called out Golovkin before, and I stated this in a video that I made last week. Okay, so you could check that video out about Miguel Cotto and Irish Lara. 
But Tim Bradley, I don't see him fighting middleweights. You know, uh, you know, this is one of those top ranked things where, like, listen, Cotto is not top ranked, but he's one of the guys that work with Bob Arum, and you know, he pretty much does all his fights is basically promoted by top rank, and he sticks with that. You know, top. You know, th those are the fighters that he sticks with, and basically. You know, it, it, this is the reason why these are his options, okay? Tim Bradley and Bam Bam Rios, you know? I I don't know. Um, but if I had to pick, I would hope it would be Laura, you know? Um, I hope it would be Tim Bradley before Bam Bam Rios, you know? Um, but this, the title's not going to be stripped, okay? Um, as far as Miguel Cotto, I'm disappointed in him. But... You know, this is this is boxing. This is what happens today. You know, guys get the title and they do whatever. You know, he broke history. He made history. You know, he, he was the first Puerto Rican to win four titles in four different divisions. That's great. But, um, you know, not, now what? You know, I, I don't think there's anything more that Cotto can accomplish because he cannot beat Golovkin. I, I think there's like zero chance of him winning that fight. And, um. That's part of the reason why that fight is not happening right now, you know, because Golovkin is coming off of a win. It would be perfect for them to fight right now in June. And maybe they will fight. Hopefully, these are all rumors. Hopefully, Rios and Bradley and Laura, these are all rumors, and Golovkin gets his shot because he deserves it, all right? Everybody considers him to be the best at the middleweight division anyway, okay? But, uh, you know, let's... It's, it's disappointed with Cotto, man. I mean, listen, you already made history. You did what you wanted to do. Um, I don't think he's going to relinquish the belt unless he's forced to. But he's not going to be forced right now. He's not going to give up the belt right now. You know, for all the people that's saying, uh, you know, hopefully they strip him or, or whatever. He's he's not going to relinquish the title because he doesn't have to right now. He's not being forced to. Okay, after his man or his voluntary is done, he has to fight. Um... Jesus, who is mandatory? I think Golovkin might be his mandatory, you know. But we'll see. Um, so anyway, um, I'm just doing this video because I want to hear what you guys have to say. All right, I wanted to catch you guys up to speed and um, ask you, like, who would you want to see Cotto fight if it's these three guys? All right. Um, it's a shame that he's not even entertaining a fight with any middleweight. But if you had to pick and you wanted to see a fight, like what fight makes the most sense to you? If Cotto's going to fight one of these three guys, Brandon Rios, Tim Bradley, or Iris Landy Laura, okay? What do you think about Laura's tweet and his comment about beating Tim Bradley with one hand? And uh, just let me know, you know, let me know what you guys think about all of this, you know? I'm kind of disappointed and I I'm kind of upset that it's been a whole year already and we haven't gotten a Cotto fight we don't have a fight with Cotto scheduled you know he's just holding it on to the belt and there's a lot of activity going on in the middleweight division right now okay and for him to be the lineal champion just sitting back chilling not doing anything this is like it's ridiculous man you know um I think these uh sanctioning bodies need to do a better job and with integrity with these fights so anyway let me know what you guys think and uh which fight is your favorite out of the three and make sure you hit subscribe all right peace